Okay. Hi, signs. Good morning, good afternoon. It is a very beautiful day in England. It's a lovely Sunday. Yeah, I'm going to try and get a quick all signs reading out. I'm going to be using the um, Angelic Love and Relationships Oracle cards and the Gilded Tarot. Now, guys, I can only do this quick because, as you can see, you got the. Yeah, I'm still scrapped. Look. Done, I've got that again. Yeah, pop mini out, I had to push it back in. So, there we go. Because I had to wait four hours for an ambulance, so I had to pop my only back in because it was fucking painful. Anyway, guys, Aries through the Pisces, let's find out what's going on for the first week in March. What's going on for Aries for the first week in March? Between them and their love life, or whoever is coming towards them. Okay. Aries, you've got admitting. So it is okay to admit errors and put things right. You have faithfulness. Fidelity builds strong relationships. You have free will. The path you take is up to you. And you've got afraid. It's time to let go of any insecurity. I've been feeling this for you for a while, Aries. It's like, as soon as somebody gets close to you, you self-sabotage everything. Well, this could be um, <clears throat> your person who has insecurities right now. But you have free will. You literally, you know, you can take the path you, that you, you think you're supposed to take. Or the, you can't English, why? This is your energy, Aries. You you can't talk right now. You've got insecurities. This is something that really, really bugs you, Aries. I know this. You're a very strong believer in fidelity. You do not like infidelity. So this is what you're expecting in a strong relationship. So anything, anyone who's coming towards you in March, you want loyalty, honesty, and fidelity. Okay? Hmm. Alright, let's find out who's coming towards you in March. So, who is coming towards Aries in March in love? You got someone who is making a return. Okay, there may be arguments. Whoever's coming towards you, it could be arguments to begin with, or this is someone who wants to win an argument against you about a deception, about a betrayal, and then about a third party. It could be a Libra. That you're dealing with. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Mm, clarify this, uh, the world in reverse. Who is coming back to Aries? So you've got to return. Someone's coming back. And King of Pentacles. Someone who's loving, kind, nurturing and caring. Could be an ex. Could be an ex-spouse. Or someone who sees you as a partner. They're coming back because you're their happiness. Could be a Leo. And what's the Five of Swords? What is this argument going to be about? I've just heard it's inevitable, it has to happen. This conversation needs to happen. Someone needs to tell you the truth, Aries, about a third party situation. Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Could be. Because we now have got a couple out here. Don't get too fixed on the signs. But we've got a couple out here. This is the person coming back to you. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles. And what they're doing is they're going to fight for you. Aries, this person's coming back to fight for you. Because they planted seeds with you in the past. And it's going nowhere at the moment. Okay. Okay, what is the Three of Swords? What is the Three of Swords? What is this here? What is the Three of Swords? Somebody could have listened to gossip from other people. Or you heard gossip. Somebody was emotionally manipulative. Could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius or Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And now we've got the King and the Queen of Swords. This may have been the past couple. The third party was these two in a strong commitment together. Again, it could be Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. 
the or Gemini with the Libra because you've got Libra twice out here. They want to heal this, or they tried to heal the situation with this third party that they were committed to, but they became indecisive and secretive. Why? Why were they indecisive and secretive towards this other person, this third party? We've now got too many court cards out here. We've had three kings and two queens come out. That's far too many people involved with this Aries. What is the two of swords? What is indecision? Someone was in a... This situation caused someone a hell of a lot of burdens. They were up, up all night. They couldn't sleep because of this. They were going through it. It may have made them depressed. This person could have been hiding their emotions from you. Someone could have been manipulating your person. Or someone was manipulating you, Aries. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could have been emotionally manipulating you. Even though they were in a connection already, happy connection with someone else, third party. What is the moon, please? Could be dealing with a Cancer or Pisces. What's the moon? And now we've got the Queen of Cups in the reverse. And the Page of Cups. And the fall. <clears throat> so someone took a leap, leap of faith before. For someone didn't use their intuition. This could be one person. But someone wasn't using their intuition on the situation with the third party. And they went straight ahead and did it. You probably got ghosted by this person, so they could go towards another. They weren't using their intuition. Weird energy here. I need to carry on. I need to get on with this because it's just too fucking weird, Aries. I will be doing you a reading for your own channel. Right, anyway, Taurus. What does Taurus need to know in love for March? What does Taurus need to know for love in March? Taurus, you have faithfulness. Fidelity brings strong relationships. You have free will, so the path you take is up to you. You have separation. Separation is not the end. You two, whoever you're dealing with, you two need to, you two need to have a conversation for a fucking start. The separation is clearly not the end, but if one of you was cheating on the other. You two need to have a good talk because fidelity builds strong relationships. It rips apart long-term relationships. Now look, but you've got friendships. Successful couples are good friends. Okay? You could be friends first. All depends on how you see the situation. Alright, so who's coming towards Taurus in March and love? The world. Somebody could be closing out the distance. This is someone at a distance from you. Three of Cups, they either want to celebrate with you or they want to put you in a third party, where well, you already are. Have I like the world? Is this distance or what? They could be trying to close out the cycle with a Queen of Swords, a Gemini Libra or an Aquarius, whoever it is you're dealing with. Two of Wands, they've made a decision, they're no longer at a crossroads. What is Three of Cups? The Hierophant, they could want a commitment with you to celebrate and have a commitment with you. You may get proposed to or they want marriage. That's our high friend. You are their soul mate, okay. You may get proposed to, okay, high level of commitment with this person. They want to celebrate with you. They are no longer at a crossroads. They're closing out the cycle with somebody else, with this Queen of Swords. Who is it you're actually dealing with? Who is this person for Taurus? Who is this person? All right, it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Okay, right. Gemini, what do you need to know? What does Gemini need to know in love for March? Okay, we've got two reversals. The upright one, denial. See the truth in the situation. Okay, so karmic is in the reverse. So notice the karmic lessons in this situation. Alright, if you're going through karma right now with another person, you did not take note of the karmic lesson you were supposed to go through. Nothing is moving for you because you were supposed to go through this karmic lesson. 
and you were in denial about it. You've blocked your own blessings. The other one in reverse. Choices in the re in reverse. Pause before you choose. You're not. You are literally rushing in from one relationship to the next without closing out the cycles prop properly, without giving the other person clarity. You're just moving on to the next one. Are you a narcissist? Seriously, Gemini, the feeling, the energy that I'm getting off of you, is quite controlling. It's like you don't give a shit. You were supposed to go through this karmic lesson. You didn't. You denied it. And yet, you're rushing straight into another relationship. I need to clarify these cards for you. Just put the climate back in reverse, I've been told. What is denial for Gemini? The Emperor, the Five of Cups and the Chariot. Did you deny fatherhood? Are you, are you denying being a father? Are you denying a pregnancy or a child? Are you denying an Aries? Five of Cups, you're sad. You're in, in denial about being sad. You are sad, but you're in denial. You're going through it. And then the chariot. You're denying forward movement. You could be denying an illegal situation, possibly with a cancer. You could be dealing with an Aries or a cancer that you're in denial about. Or you're sad about an Aries and a cancer. Who knows? But why is karmic in reverse? Why is karmic in the reverse for Gemini? You were supposed to, for God's sake. <coughs> right. You were supposed to see the karmic lesson with an X. You denied it. You had a karmic partner, possibly a karmic twin or a karmic soulmate. Someone from your past, someone you've been with a long time, someone who you felt stuck and bound to or someone who you tried to keep stuck and bound to you. Tried to keep them overthinking or you overthought the situation. You were supposed to go through this lesson. It's come up in the reverse. You were supposed to do, go through that. Stop clinging on to the past, let them go. What is choices in the reverse? This is full fools rushing in to a new relationship immediately after the last one breaks up. Yeah, you literally rushed straight in to another sexual relationship in an instant. And you thought you got justice. Yeah. I'm sorry, Gemini, but I'm feeling like you are a bit, a, a bit of a controlling narcissist who did not close out cycles with other people before you started something new. You rushed straight in. You actually possibly put someone in a third party to make sure you got a new supply before the other one leaves you. You've not got good energy, Gemini. Let's get off of your energy. If you keep going on in those cycles, Gemini, you'll never have anyone in your life. All right. Cancer, what do you need to know in love for March? What does Cancer need to know for love in March? Why do you think you don't have free will, Cancer? Yes, you do. Free will is in the, in the reverse. The path you take is up to you. Are you being controlled by someone else? You have free will. Why is it in, in the reverse? Is somebody controlling your life for you? You've got choices. Pause before you choose. You've got to make a decision between two different people. Pause. Reflect. If you are dealing with someone who's trying to control your free will, that's not the one for you. Right, you've got heaven. Your loved ones are always with you. You've got your ancestors around you. They're watching your every mood. mood. They're guiding you. They're seeing everything you do. They're trying to make sure you go towards the right thing in life. And they're admitting. It is okay to admit errors and put things right. Who are you dealing with? Why is free 
you will, in the reverse for cancer. Who are they dealing with? They want to come out. Dealing with the devil. Or is that in the reverse? Or are addictions affecting your life? Have addictions or toxicity or a toxic person planning your life for you because it's their wish fulfillment or your wish fulfillment? Wait for your ships to come in. being told cancer you've got to right your wrongs apparently you need to apologize to someone but also somebody needs to apologize to you okay who is cancer dealing with in march in love no you've got a new beginning coming that's for sure but there's competition for this person or well, there's competition for you Seven of Pentacles, planting seeds, waiting for harvest. Four of Pentacles, holding on to your money. Because we've got Pentacles here. You could be um, struggling financially at the moment, but you're holding on to every single penny at the moment. Because you've had a breakup with someone. Because you're wanting a new beginning, but there is competition out here with the Five of Wands. You could have heard some gossip, or there could have been gossip around you and someone. There's jealousy. That you're holding back. Alright, so you could be dealing any of your signs Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Scorpio, or an Aries Leo, or a Sag. Alright, Leo. What do you need to know, Leo? I'm after doing this in two parts because my legs starting to hurt already. Alright, Leo, what do you need to know for March in love? So I've just heard stay away from an air sign. Okay. Alright. Leo, you've got journey, so be adventurous. Infinity, your love is timeless. Past, leave the past in the path, which is exactly what I was feeling. If you're, if you've been attached to an air sign in the past, leave them there, let them go. All right, you've got teamwork. Be united for a good relationship. I think you've got something new coming up. Let's just clarify past. Can I fly past to Leo? What is this? Knight of Pentacles. It was going too fucking slow anyway. Either you or your, that person was going far too slow for your life and it wasn't going quick enough. Could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Ten of Swords. They betrayed you. Come on. Let them go. Ten of Swords. You're probably telling everyone, everything's okay. But this person stabbed you in the back at least ten times. Don't put up with it. Let them go. And Leo's, you can cut someone off. In an instant. Alright, especially if you've got Aquarius highly aspected in your chart. But, you know, you're the... I know Aries are the baby bosses. But, Leos, you're the pride. You are the top of the zodiac. You're the proudly lions. You're the bold ones. Okay, the strong ones. Let this past go, no matter how much it hurts you. Let's bring you in, darlings. Alright. Alright, what does Leo need to know for love in March? Who's coming towards Leo in love for March? Yeah, somebody wants to collaborate with you or reconcile with you. Oh, they're coming in. They could have been using their intuition, or this is a Pisces, or this is someone who's being secretive about their emotions. Well, pentacles, pentacles, the person's a bit childish. They may come in with a gift, but they they are offering a cup of love. Why is the High Priestess here? This could be a return of someone. Somebody wants to collaborate or reunite. What is the High Priestess, please, for Leo? Somebody could have planted seeds somewhere else. Someone was lying their asses off. Okay, two secrets, right. This person who's coming towards you, they're hiding the fact that they're lying to you about planting seeds. Possibly with you or with somebody else. We need to find this out, don't we? We could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and any Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But let's find out who, who this person's planting seeds with. Clarify. The 
made a decision could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're up in their head. They're overthinking this situation. But I need a major arcana. Let's find out. I need a major arcana for the Seven of Pentacles, please. Of who this person is planting seeds with and they're keeping it a secret. They lied about it. Queen of Cups in the reverse. Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Page of Swords. This person was planting seeds and spying on this other person, on this Queen of Cups. Someone who is highly intuitive, but they may have been blocked by this intuitive. Either way, I have to keep going on with the reading. Alright. <clears throat> so, you can expect the same old bullshit from this person from your past. Like I said at the beginning of your reading, Leo. What I was told. Stay away from an air sign. Right, Virgo. Virgo, what you need to know for March. You've got reciprocate, uh, express shared feelings. But that said, it did turn around though. Right, you've got infinity. Your love is timeless. Can I get one more please for Virgo? Expectations. Alright, have realistic expectations towards this situation coming towards you in March. I'm sorry, I've got to sort out my legs because obviously one of them is stuck. Right. What is reciprocate for Virgo? What's reciprocate? Stop being so bloody defensive. Express your feelings. Tell someone. King of Pentacles in reverse. You think somebody's non-committal. You think they're not reciprocating. They're not giving you an equal give and take. And so your guard is up and you're defen defensive towards them. Give me an Aries Leo, Sag, or Taurus Virgo, Capricorn. Give me a minute guys, I think I may have to open a window because I'm getting too hot. Alright, let's get on with Libra. Alright, Libra, what do you need to know for March in love? Hi, SL. That's my bestie. Libra for March. Okay, you have infinity, your love is timeless. Oh, apparently, oh, sorry, I was told to keep going. Okay, Libra, you have abundance, so be open to accept abundance of love. Open that heart chakra, it's closed. You've got denial, see the truth in the situation. What are you denying? I will clarify. You've got infinity, so your love is timeless. Sacrifice, true love is selfless. You're in denial about a true love. You know who is your true love, but you're denying this. If you open your heart chakra and see things for what they are, you've got abundance coming to you and your love is timeless. And you've got teamwork. Okay, be united for a good relationship. And I've been stressed to emphasise on the good. Be united for a good relationship. Alright, and you have journey, so be adventurous. Get out there, do some wild things, but let's see what the hell you are denying. You're denying your true love. Libra. Clarify denial for Libra, please. Yes, you are in denial. Okay. <clears throat> Is there someone from your past that you need to close out a cycle with or someone you want to go back to? Could be a Scorpio. Is there someone not giving up on another person? You don't want to give up. I don't know what's going on with you right now, but you're not giving up on someone. Five of Wands in the reverse. Four of Swords in the reverse. And the Knight of Cups. You're in denial about this love. You're not accepting this love. Because you're not getting over pain. Or you're not getting over something. That's moving forward. That's healing. That's, that's getting on with it. You know, getting over things. In the reverse, that is not healing from it. Whatever this is, you're not healing from it. Five of Wands in the reverse. I've just heard you're not taking the accountability for the part you portrayed in this. Okay, you know your story. What is sacrifice? Do you know? Let me clarify that. Okay. Okay. 
Right. Uh, give me more on this person that Libra is in denial about. Who is Libra in denial about for March? Page of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Oh, you are very defensive, aren't you? Eight of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Are you single right now or you want to be? King of Swords, Gemini energy, Three of Swords, Libra energy, third party, heartbreak. You're in denial that you've had a breakup. You're now single. You may have broken up from a King of Swords from a Gemini. You may have been put in a third party, or you caused the third party situation. I'm getting all air and fire out here. And earth. There's no water out here. There's no emotions here. It's lust. It's lust and betrayal and third party situation, Libra. I'm sorry, I have to say what I have to say. But this could be an apology that needs to be made to someone. Three of Wands. Waiting. What are you waiting for? Get on with it. If you need to apologise to someone, fucking well, get on with it. Either that or someone needs to fucking well apologise to you. Someone here is very defensive and guarded. Eight of Swords. Someone is overthinking the situation. I'm actually feeling like this is you. Overthinking the situation. Feeling st stuck, trapped and bound in your own thoughts. But it can be reversed. It can be the cross watcher. But someone here is very single. They're abundant. It feels forced. To me, it feels that this separation, whatever this is, this singlehood has been forced. Could have been by this King of Swords. Gemini Energy. But what is this about? What the fuck is this about? Libra, I hate getting this kind of a read for you. You really don't fucking well deserve it. Please remember, it cannot will not resonate with every one of you. Do not force it to fit to your story. Three of Swords, okay. The third party, the King of Cups. A Cancer, Pisces or a Scorpio. And here we have Scorpio. The Fall in Reverse. Someone was reckless. What did you do? Or what did the King of Cups do? Shit. Had many options with the Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sag. Who they had an equal give and take with. Libra, somebody put you in a third party with the Queen of Wands. Who actually gave them an equal give and take. They made that option to go towards someone else. They were reckless about it. And they broke your fucking heart. Alright. Sorry, that took far too long. Alright, I'm going to have to do this in two parts. Sorry guys, I've got to sit for a bit.